Hey guys, Mighty Ferret here with the bonus series. Now, this will be a video that will go out just when I fancy just doing an extra video. Um, what it's going to be is I'm probably going to do one of these a week as well at a random date. And then, obviously, this will supplement. So I've got like five videos a week. Because obviously, if I get a loot crate, I'll be doing a loot crate instead of this. Now, there will be six videos this week because I've done the loot crate as well. Oh. But that's just so happens because the loot crate arrived on the same day that I got paid and I was able to buy this game. So, yeah. So, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to turn on the music. It's kind of annoying, but it's also kind of funky. It's kind of annoying on this title screen. Um, but later in the game it's quite fine and actually quite funky. So, turn it on. And press enter. Now, if you notice, I've already got a save. That isn't the save I'm going to be playing on. Because I've already got a one-star one um, restaurant. I'm going to actually be starting on this one. Let's go. So, this is a restaurant. Now, obviously they make you do the tutorial right at the start. But let's see what we've got, eh? here to continue. Yeah, blah blah blah, prep stations. So this is kind of a typing game. Like, as you can see, if I press... Oh, right, you can use your mouse for this one. Um, you can use your mouse as well, but pretty much it's... If it says K and M, it's not K for ketchup, M for mustard. That is the key you press. I can't do it here because I have to click, but... And then, obviously this. Obviously, I'm not going to be talking a lot during this tutorial because I've already done it on the other save. But, obviously, every day it's going to be different. So, just cook this patty and just try and get this done. Book <sighs> it. Oh, you can change your key binding. I might actually have to do that because sometimes it's just like doing fine, doing fine, doing fine. Rush hour. Fuck everything up. Yeah, I already know this. One. One. One, 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 one. Oh, whoops. Ah. Yeah, you see, that one I couldn't serve. That's what that clicking in the background was. That was me hammering the one button. Eh, uh, chore, blah, blah, blah. Just let me do it. Blah, 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 blah. Can you tell that I've played this before? It's quite funny. I've already got one sort of restaurant. I've only started um, playing this today. Admittedly, I won't get, like, a one sort of restaurant within the 20 minutes that this video is, but... Well... Um, just emails, emails, right, let's buy foods. Uh, I've got seven and a half grand, so we've got soap appears. Hmm, need a fryer for that. Got the corn dogs, going to purchase them because they're the simplest thing to do. They've got catering, so when we get catering, they're good for that. Simply foods, generally easy food to make, it's good. Afternoon delight, good in the afternoon. Munchies, they're not ordered during rush hours, which is annoying because these are simple. If they ordered these during rush hours, that would make it so much easier to get a perfect day. Uh, menu rot, that's um, pretty much like if you've had it on over two days, it won't... Um, it will actually start to decline your popularity. Unappreciated. People don't tip with this food. It's a friggin' corn dog. I wouldn't expect them to tip with that. Uh, peasant food. Um, if you've got more than two stars, no one will order this. This is actually the only one I've seen marked as peasant food. Fatty McFats. Obviously it's fatty. But I find it funny how um, it says 
obviously I can't mouse over, but it says a fire food frowned upon by weirdos. So apparently health nuts are weirdos. And morning aroma, it actually gives you negative buzz in the morning because, well, it's a corn dog. They probably don't smell nice when you just wake up. We've also got pretzels. These are also oh, there. That's another one marked as present food. These are pretty much the exact same thing, but I'm not going to buy a pretzel. Beer. Uh, you've got staple food. That means they will not get menu rot. And catering and late night chow, which means they actually have positive buzz late at night. Uh, it's, it's really simple to make and doesn't actually have any increased impact on any of the chores. But work liquor, it gives you a negative buzz. That gives you a positive 5 buzz at late at night, and that gives you a negative 5. So that, those two kind of cancel each other out. But I'll buy that because uh, they're pretty good. Just need to wash my money. We've got fried chicken, need a fryer for that. Sodas. Oh, we've got beer. If they want a drink, they can have beer. Fries, don't think. Salad. Salad's a good one to have because it's staple. It's healthy. It's to go when you get the to go option. It's an afternoon thing, but it does make a lot of dishes and a lot of trash. Got ice cream. Eh, it's a good one to have, but it's on tip. It doesn't tip. Baked potato. I'm actually going to try the baked potato because it's a big tipper. It's like a slow cooker in as well, which means it takes a long time to prepare, but, but when it rains, it's a good thing. What? Oh my god. One, two, three. Nachos and a grill. Lasagna. It's good. It's a big tip art. It's uh, got a competition. It's complex though, but the basic lasagna I've, I've played my thing and I've pretty much got the rhythm down. Fish. Fish is quite good because it attracts VIPs. Chicken breasts, healthy. Oh, fifty dollars short. Uh, I can't buy wine. Can't, oh, I can get pizza actually. So pretty much what is, is I'm going to get all the foods I can before buying any other equipment on this one. Wait, sort by sort by, sort by cost. Wine number being the most expensive plus. There's also the speciality foods, which you get when you get higher star ratings. Like, I think the largest one you need is like two stars. But look, lobster. Lobster. Two stars. Yeah, I wouldn't order a lobster from a two star restaurant. But that's it, so let's activate our menu. We'll have corn dogs. We'll have beer. Oh, buzz went down. We'll have you. And we'll have baked potatoes. Because these two will suffer menu rot after two days, it's good to have extra food to swap in and out. So, with that aside, let's let's do this. My first day. Start at nine in the morning, finish at ten at night. Begin in the weird kind of... Um, RCB, um, the weird kind of fruit ninja text. What do you want? Oh, baked potato. Oh, cheer up, love. God, that's the thing about this game. All of them look depressed. Uh, why HB? Two. You want a beer? There you go. Flush your own goddamn toilet! God. Beer at frickin' before noon. Funny thing, actually, in Scotland, it's actually illegal to sell alcohol before 10am. Well, it is in um, the supermarkets, because I would know I work in one. I don't know about pubs, I think with for residents you can do before 10am if they're staying. You want a potato with nothing on it. You need fucking help, mate. Uh, well, just ranch and cheese. Okay. Oh god, rush hour. Uh, what's that? RCO. 
Uh, two, one. RCM. Jolt potato. Cheese, sour cream. Butter. Chai. Chai is baking up oh, pretty much everything on it. Two, ah, uh, one. No, I've, I've missed one. SBO. Three, I've just burnt that one, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm missing a lot. I do not like Rush Hour in this game. Uh, <laughs> Can you tell I don't like Rush Hour? I really should pour one of those for myself. Um, ugh. Oh, well, actually, sour and onions. Maybe. Oh, no. I hate this chore. Yeah, the reason I was playing this game is because I saw some of the YouTubers I watch actually play this game. And I thought, eh, why not? I could do a series on it. See, baby potatoes are good because once you press that button, that's unlocked in. And because you've only got four prep stations, that means you can only have four customers at a time. You do get more as time goes on, but uh, what's that? Cheese, sour cream, butter, and bacon. Nice. This mustard. Ah, okay. oh, yeah, I like this music in the afternoon. It reminds me of the um, Cantina Band from uh, Star Wars. I better not do any more than that, otherwise I'll get uh, my copyright strike. Because now that Lucasfilm is owned by Disney! Actually, I'll probably need to um, lower the volume of that as well, just in case. Ranch, cheese, and peppers. Uh, this is a chore that I actually like, because watch. Done. Yeah, it's because it's left, right, and up, you just pretty much just um, hit the three keys as fast as you can, and it works. Oh, no. Walk in. Uh, three. What do you want? A bunch of cheese. Just, just butter? Ugh. Eh, well. I kind of see a reason behind that. See, oh, uh, What? What? No, it was fine, it was fine, it was fine. Ah! See, oh. MG. Oh, it's sort off, mate. Yeah, so you get two hours hours, um, which are rush hours in this game. Four! Quick! Right, what do you want? Ranch cheese. B. O. Uh, no! Ah! I will get that good. I will get a perfect day, damn it. Sorry about that. Come on. You're a chillock, so if I just mash the keyboard. What did I get wrong? Ah, oh, crap. See, the thing is, with this game, you do have no way of scrapping it, so, like, if you make a mistake, that mistake is there. How is that window staying in place? There's a massive crack there. So, either... So, this is actually an endurance challenge. It sees what breaks first. 
the game? Me. Or my keyboard. Uh, ranch, cheese, mushrooms, tomatoes. Highest combo, 14, oh, 14 actually. That's not bad. I did miss a chore. Earn no tips because I don't have a tip jar yet. Uh, five bad orders though. Ooh. I'm going to feel that. Yeah, so this is what I need to do to get um, a one star. I need to complete 20 days of service. I've done two because the tutorial counts as one. Get a 5 time perfect combo in three separate days. I've done one. Purchased six foods. I've purchased seven. Make over $100 in tip. Need a tip jar. Pass the safety inspection. They happen every five days. Serve four foods in one day. Well, my menu is full. Have at least 10% positive buzz from customers. I've done that as well. I can upgrade my beer. Yeah, yeah, it's just enough. I can also now buy the tip jar. Buy Hoopa shares up at 40 today. The drought over the nation's major burrito farms. Burrito farms? Have driven the demand for this company sky high. Sell. Buit shares down 11. An errant shoe has struck the CEO of this company, causing him to forget the secret recipe he kept to himself for so long. That shouldn't put it down by 11. That should cripple the company if that happened, if they forgot. Pretty much how to run the company. Anyway, it's um, 409. I need 600 to upgrade my beer. So, if you buy foods, I don't think I can buy any. Oh, I can. I can buy the pretzel. See, because pretzels and corn dogs and uh, fish, actually, as well, and wine. They're all good to have on the health inspector because it's uh, it's simple foods. Because the health inspector wants you to do the chores quickly, the quicker you can get ser food served. Like soup is a bitch to do. Like soup, soup will probably be the last thing I buy. I'll probably save up and buy the wine because wine is popped cork. You're done. Soup is. In fact, I'll show you. I've got a little bit of time before this episode ends, so I'll just show you what soup is. Right? Soup is this. Now, this is chicken noodle. This is quite easy. Press K, W, U, space, Y, chop, chop, chop. Yeah? That's the easy one. It's if you get the soup de jour. Which I'm hoping yours next, just to show you what it is. Nope, that's chicken noodle. Do it. Just show them the soup de jour. Just so they can see that I'm not insane. Come on, there's not a lot left in this episode. Ah, here we go. See, with the soup de jour, you have to do bow tie noodles, bullion cubes, seasoning. Tomato, chop, chop, chop. Carrot, chop, chop, chop. Celery, chop, chop, chop. Enter. Now that doesn't seem that bad. Now imagine that at rush hour. Now imagine four of those at rush hour. When the health inspector's in. It is a nightmare. So anyway guys, that is the first episode. I am going to leave it there. Um. I do record these in a bunch. I'll probably record this in a bunch of three and edit them up to put out times when uh, I feel like putting out a video. Um, yeah. Um, any foods here that I'm buying? Obviously, I can't buy the ones with the um, denied symbol. So, obviously, I can't buy the Super Pizza's fried chicken or fries yet. Can't buy the nachos or the burgers yet. Can't buy the pasta or the, the soup yet. The reason I didn't go nachos and pasta is because it's fryer, grill, stove. So uh, yeah. Um, the next food I'll probably buy is probably the ice cream because it's only $750.
Uh, I did read my email today, didn't I? Right, well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. And I will see you next episode.